Well, the last time we reviewed a non-SUV, it kind of looked like this. Ready? Ready? Wanna go up, up? Right. And he didn't really want to go in. This week, we're lab testing the 2019 VW Arteon. Our first ever fastback. I mean, it kind of sounds like a football position. Go deep! Kind of like the design where you could have your cake and eat it too. Hey, who said you could eat that? But let's just get to the part that really matters, the booty. 27 cubic feet of space with the seats up. That's pretty average for a regular car this size. But because of the fastback design, when the seats are folded basically flat, you now have almost 45 cubic feet of space, which means it's as big as some of the crossovers out there. Totally great, and I love how much room she has back there, but there is one flaw. It kind of feels like a greenhouse in there. The sun is just beating on Andy. That could be easily fixed with some stealthy tints. I mean, that would look good. Let's go jump on the road and see how Andy does. The good thing about this Arteon, it has three zone climate control. So I could pump air to the back to Andy, and even with the seats down, she can still feel that air because the seats do not block the vents. Woo woo! Hallelujah! And speaking of airflow, you can pop this sunroof open and close the cloth shade so you can protect your noggin from the sun, yet still have a breeze. Now, I don't know what kind of UPF protection this shade has, but maybe it helps block some of those harmful UV rays. This Arteon has a two liter, four cylinder turbocharged engine. And this particular one is the SEL Premium with four motion, so it's got all wheel drive, very stable, planted. Andy has been very cozy back there from day one. It's got an eight speed automatic transmission, driving modes, eco, comfort, normal, sport, and custom. Oh, Andy, in our last video, someone commented that I didn't give you enough treats. Here, want a rice cake? There you go. But to be honest with you, it's a really nice change from all the SUVs, CUVs, crossovers that we normally do. And it's got the sporty steering wheel. This overall interior has a really clean design. Look at the trim along the front. It's textured, so I bet it's gonna hide scratches really well. And when the sun hits it, I personally think it looks a little bit like rose gold. Very beautiful, kind of like a piece of jewelry. And these seats, kind of fun, right? Two-tone leather. They're not the most super plush seats I've ever sat in, but they are comfortable. And guess what? In this model, I have a massage function. Lower back massage when you're driving on a long trip. Uh, yes, please, I'll take that. Passenger doesn't have it, but at least that seat is motorized. No hand cranking in here. Infotainment, you got a touch screen, easy to learn, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Look how responsive that is. Tap on the maps, you have a nice display. This doesn't have a wireless charger, but it is an option. And you got two USB plug-in ports. Boop and boop. And if you like your maps here, well, this thing has got a digital cockpit, so you could pull that sucker up, boom. And when poking around, a couple things I found that were pretty cool. There's an energy efficient app, so it actually will tell you which auxiliary functions take up the most fuel economy. And the other thing, it has max startup sound. So let's say Andy borrows the car for the night, goes out, blasts the music, and forgets to lower it. <laughs> Well, the next morning when you get in and turn it on, it limits how loud the music is so you don't blow out your eardrums. There's a button up front here that says rest, and it doesn't mean that you can like close your eyes and take a nap. It will recycle the heat from inside the engine to keep the air warm through the vents. 
This Arteon is supposed to pull over if it detects that you fell asleep at the wheel. I tried to test it out in a parking lot. Pretending to sleep. Maybe I need to be going faster. If in fact that is true, I mean, that's, that's a pretty cool safety feature to have. Another thing I wanted to point out when driving is that when you look forward, the hood kind of feels short. So you have a good perspective of where the front of your vehicle is. And at nighttime, these LED lights not only look good, they work great. Plus there is some ambient lighting in here. to safety it's got your favorite features like your blind spot monitor lane assist front assist this even has the self parking feature it will parallel or perpendicular park for you and the cameras in here are wonderful multiple camera angles 360 view additionally the side cameras are angled in a way so you could actually see the wheels and backing up, you can get so close to the curb, makes it that much easier for Andy to jump out. All right, let's go. Up, up, come. Yep. Wow. wow, that was easy. Now, because this is more like a trunk, your dog has to jump up and go in. So if your dog is used to a CUV or an SUV, it might take a little bit of time to get used to, but as soon as Annie saw her dog bed back here, she was totally game for coming on in. And you know that rear view camera I just showed you? It's kind of cool because it's located underneath the hinge to open this rear door. One of the cleanest designs hands down, and I love that the camera is protected from debris when you're driving around. The other cool thing is you're supposed to be able to do a dance, and this hatch should pop open. Are you gonna work? It's not working for me, but let's just dance our way to that second row seat. Now, I'm not really in sedans that often, but I can tell this is spacious. Yes, you got a hump, but my goodness, my feet actually fit. What? So much room to move around. Gotta love the peep through. Hello, fast food delivery. And you got a 60-40 split. Boop. You're glowing in the light, Andy. You're like an angel. And as you saw earlier, vents right here in the center also being pumped out from the floor. The fact that you can feel the air with the seats down, I mean, look at this space. It can just go whoosh back to Andy. And when it comes to storage, you got some in the doors. You have some seat backs here, cup holders, little rubberized tray, and don't forget about those consoles up front. Truth be told, this fastback could really work if you had a large fur kid like Andy. Our top five favorite features are, one, the camera angles. Makes it so easy pulling into a spot. Two, the exterior look. Love that front grille. And if you get this in the R line, you can get it in a yellow metallic. I would totally get that to match my yellow lab. Three, the rear space. I mean, Andy actually fits back there with those seats up. Four, the smooth drive. Andy has felt comfortable since day one. And five, the moonroof. I love how it looks when it's open. Plus, you gotta love a little ear flop action. Big thanks to Volkswagen for letting us lab test this 2019 Arteon. Let me ask the boss, Andy, is it lab approved? This is totally lab approved. We'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel and if you turn that bell on, you'll know when our next lab tested review is up. And follow Andy on Instagram to see more photos of this Arteon all week long. We'll see you next time, bye.